Hello, hello, and welcome back to Password. We're having breakfast with everyone still. It's, uh, it's nice, it's nice. Glancing at Tyson, <clears throat> yes, glancing at Tyson showed he had some level of pride and threw in a subtle thumbs up. I, <clears throat> I wasn't sure if I should be happy about that or not, but the conversation moved on regardless. Somehow, I don't think that's uh, going to come up, Dave. So we've got <clears throat> we've got checking the kitchen for our food supply, gathering weapons should we need them. That's what we're doing today. Plus, uh, whatever Benson and Oswin uh, have in mind. You think so? It's their house, after all. Uh, maybe they have a hidden storage of food, or some other idea of what uh, we could be doing. I agree. Plus, we'll need to keep tabs on Thanatos as well, just in case we can get, <clears throat> get any more in, uh, insight on what's to come. Good luck getting it, uh, getting him to help us. Oh, I have no intention of going to find him. That job is absolutely yours. Why me? He seems to like you enough, or, well, you've, <clears throat> you've had more experience uh, with him anyway. Really? Okay. Does Dave have the most experience with Thanatos here? Hmm. 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 <laughs> That's probably fine. It worked out well enough, <clears throat> given the dream I had last night. If anyone could answer my question, it'd be him. All right, should we split up into groups then? How about Sal, myself, and Tyson? <clears throat> uh, handle getting ourselves sorted as we, as far as weapons and other supplies, while the others handle the food. Okay. Wasn't Dean going to get a sword? Anyone can use a wrench to undo the bolt. Plus, if foraging. If foraging absolutely needs to be considered, it's better for the person uh, that knows how to do that to be present, right? I guess that's fair. I think you're forgetting about Dave in there, Haas. Didn't forget. Uh, figured he'd do as uh, he normally does and float between the groups. Dave, are you fine with that? I guess so. I can't always keep an eye out on an eye out for Thanatos in the meantime. I can always, yes, okay. Oh, perfect. And Dean Orlando to the kitchen. Roswell gathered up a few of the dishes from breakfast and wandered into the kitchen. The two other wait, the other two followed suit and flashed me a smile on the way out. Uh, come on, big dog. We have supplies to get. And then the others left in the same way, leaving me behind in the dining room. Normally I'd I would have felt strange being left out like this, but my mind would uh, track. Wait, but my mind was attached to seeking uh, answers from a certain rat. Thanatos, are you around? I mean, if you just want to call Thanatos, you know, a, a gun works. And calling out for him seems seemed like the safest place to start. His habit of just being around made it seem like I could always just uh, call and he'd be there, though that was hardly working. Are you down here? It hadn't occurred to me just how different he might he might be difficult he might be to find, given that he could just as easily avoid being found. That left me in a, in a lurch. I found myself standing in front of the vault door. This was all that rat was a computer attached to a room holding a secret. With a frown, I inspected the input manual. There was a word that uh, existed that opened the door. <clears throat> the, the door. But part of me deep down said that I'd never know uh, what that would be. Yes. That word would be. I'm, I'm, I'm collected. I'm here. You can't prove otherwise. Something about the panel drew my attention, and I leaned... Uh, yes, I uh, leaned in a bit closer. At first, I thought I'd seen something, but it was something I'd heard instead. Almost like the uh, churning of a heavy heavy metal combina combined with the sound of a clock ticking. I didn't think bomb... Wait, I didn't think bomb and more felt that it was close to breathing. 
that this sound was the mechanical version of whatever was beating in my chest. Thanatos, can you hear me? There was nothing that came as, as a reply, but I continued speaking anyway. If he could see everything, and that happened in front of this door, there was no doubt in my mind that if not now, <clears throat> uh, but sometime he'd come and pay me a visit. I had a dream last night, but it wasn't... What I mean to say is, uh, you didn't make me remember anything, right? That wasn't you? Again, the silence stretched out, making me fidget. How traumatic can an event be for me to remember it? How can I tell the difference between what's a dream and what's a memory? A dry laugh found its way out of my mouth, and I shook my head. And there are there even eh, any more passwords for me to find? For me to remember? That depends. <clears throat> I immediately turn on my heels and look down towards the door. Look back towards the door. And standing just out of view was Thanatos, his beady red eyes glowing softly in the dark. Depends on what? You, mostly. I'd rather there be no more passwords if I had my say. Why? Because that means that nothing bad happens and I don't... Uh... <laughs> I didn't... I... wait... and I didn't have to step in and prevent it. Or the opposite. That is, uh, that this is just the first time around. This set of variables, and it's your job to survive long enough for a password to be made. Only you'd know that, right? Yes, and no. There's always a third option. Being? Whatever you experienced last time, I didn't cause. Maybe I'm rubbing off on you. Don't go telling Roswell. He might get jealous I'm developing psychic powers. He seemed to regard the statement carefully for a few moments, measuring his words. Yeah, I bet he would get jealous. Is there a way to tell the difference between what's a dream and what's a memory? Not really. Not at all? Well, with how consistent you are, not that I know of anyway. What makes you think what you saw was a memory? It was strange. It was like I was there, but I wasn't. Like I was looking through the eyes of... Eyes of the me that, um... Yeah, really easy to follow. Sorry, it was almost like out of, an out-of-body experience, but in a bot in-body experience instead? Listen, I had nothing to do with whatever it is you saw. Could be a dream, could be a memory. But whatever it was, I don't have a clue as to what you're talking about. I frowned, thinking back to the dream. We were outside, and, uh, you had just given me a vision, I think. That ain't narrowing it down. And there was a talk about Jack, a plan or something? I think you better off asking yourself if that was sufficiently traumatic to even be a thing to recall. I, you have a point. Think about it this way. You can't remember anything unless you've been traumatized by the event. He backed up a little, half uh, shul, shud, shrouding himself in the darkness of the basement. So tell me, Dave. That line up in your dream? I, well, not really. Then, you just had a dream. <clears throat> Nothing else. You sure? I'm... sure. You don't sound it. Look, if you want to fight about it, then give me one... Give me something to work with. I have other things I need to be doing now, anyway. Such as? What's more important than helping me figure this out? Making sure Benson behaves himself. And what does that mean? Remember, the favor I uh, asked Oswin yesterday. Oh, right. But why did you ask that anyway? I thought you said we had uh, some breathing room. If you let me do... If you let me go do what I need to, then yeah, you will. It, hin it hinges on Benson not firing his gun. But who do you even shoot? You'll find out soon enough. Thanatos disappeared into the darkness, and before I could cross the distance of the room to the door, he was gone for good. 
I wandered back upstairs and looked around the foyer. No sign of Benson yet, but with Thanatos tracking him down, I guess I don't have to worry. That just left Oswin. We didn't see him at breakfast, so unless he was in his lab, the place he could... Wait. The places he could be were pretty limited. Maybe one of the others had seen him. Thinking back to what Haas said, I, I was due to float between the groups, and now seems like a good, good a time as any to check in. Oh, well, big, big dog is in the museum, right? I, when I got to the museum, all three of them seated and seemed to be standing in front of the suit of armor. No progress seems to have been made. Uh, guys? Oh, uh, hey, Dave. <clears throat> oh my god. I'm guessing getting the sword out isn't going well. <laughs> uh, when splitting the group up like this, I didn't think the actual need for a wrench was going to get in the way. I thought the fact that it was bolted down was pretty indicate, indicative uh, that it wasn't meant to be moved. <laughs> but it was only bolted down, and not welded down, so we can remove it, right? Not without a wrench. So what have you been doing this whole time, then, rather than getting a tool from downstairs? Just talking. About? Yes, mostly yesterday. What about yesterday? My mistake at the dinner table. Oh. Given how the reactions at the table went, I figured this was the best way to split up the groups. Leaving Tyson around any of the others would have been problematic. Now that looks a little bit loud on the levels, so... At the very least, Orlando. I don't know how that would... <clears throat> how the others would go. And how's... Things have been... Uh, things been in the... Wait. Things... So how's things been in these talks? Okay. Fine. Just fine? Make no mistake. It was messed up. Uh, it was a messed up thing he did, but I'm not about to... Uh, uh, condemn my buddy over it. Though if he screws up that bad again, he's on his own. Tarsh. And deserved. Sorry, I should not have left it for you that, uh, left it for so long. Or perhaps I should have raised it a bit more privately. No sense in worrying about it now, Sal. Only thing we can do now is just deal with it. This might be one of those things where we deal with it by not dealing with it. And grimacing slightly, I look at the sword. <laughs> we, <clears throat> the sword we were all standing around, uh, thinking it was about time we got back to getting this free. So, if we don't have a tool to get this out, what should we go? What, what should we do? Go and get one, maybe. Admittedly, I'm just happy to linger for the time being. Eh. I agree. But weapons. Getting the sword out will um, get us nowhere anyway. A cell could use it. Dean, maybe. But it's not even sharp. Plus, you didn't. Uh, you don't uh, bring a knife to a gunfight. Uh, what is a sword if not just a bigger knife? <laughs> a s what, oh, what's that line? <laughs> what's the berserk line? Like, it. <laughs> It was too big to be called a sword. Merely a slab of iron. <laughs> oh. So, we need guns? Lots of guns. We really don't. Besides, to bare minimum is... The bare minimum is going to... Minimum is going to do us fine. I don't think that most of us have even fired a gun before. There was every chance that we'd be doing more damage to ourselves than those we might protect ourselves against. But it is better to have one than not in this case. I'd say it's better to not be in the position... In the position where we uh, need to weigh that up. Long past the chance for that. I'm afraid I agree, but um, a knife isn't going to do us much better. Not if you're going to wait uh, for them to come to us. It's not like any of us is planning on heading out there, he yeah, head out to them first, right? No, I'm not too sure about that, really. 
What makes you say that? Orlando's father, mostly. Meaning? I can foresee a problematic situation where Orlando may try and bargain for our lives and get himself into trouble. Plus, doing so maybe... Wait, doing so before they make it here would give her the, uh, a largest buffer, lest someone get in the way. I don't know, that didn't really help him in Route C and D. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> you think he'd uh, really do that? Isn't he a bit of a wimp for that? Hey, everyone's scared sometimes, Tyson. Just depending on what and when. And Memphis is absolutely the kind of person that will latch uh, onto whatever it is that gets you to cower. But what is Memphis? What is Memphis fear? That I do not know. Must be something pretty messed up. I could. <clears throat> it could be anything. Maybe he's afraid of rats, for all we know. So we just sick Thanatos on them. Would be so lucky uh, that it's something easy. Oh, I doubt it, though. Maybe he doesn't like anime. Listen, he's evil already. It's not liking anime is just a given. Uh, but isn't his family from, you know, Japan? Isn't that racist? Being Japanese isn't racist. Uh... <laughs> Uh, not liking anime is, um... Please don't say racist. He probably likes anime. It's just a uh, good bet that people do, right? I think Haas has tainted your mind on how many people like anime versus those who don't. Sal, even you like anime. Big strong guy like you that lifts weights and has a deep voice isn't what most people would imagine when liking anime. Who do they imagine? Haas. Mostly Haas. Pretty much. Ah. Uh, the... <laughs> the average anime fan. <laughs> okay. I believe Dave uh, meant it another way. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's cringy. Very cringy. Rude. He's right, though. Dude, you're almost as bad. Yeah, I'm not. Sal, how bad is he? I don't think I know for certain, but I know it's a slippery slope when, uh, from what I've heard from Orlando. Remind me to watch myself around Orlando more from now on. Either way, I don't think we can uh, bank on Memphis fearing anime enough that it's enough of a defense mechanism. Which means we need something a bit more reliable. Yeah, well, uh, well, unless you've got an assault... Wait, an arsenal? Uh, somewhere you haven't told us about. We still have to find something. I'm sure we will. Worst case scenario, we just, we just grab a tool to get this sword free and achieve the bare minimum we set out to do. Guessing you don't need me here, then, after that. Do you have somewhere you need to be? Not really. But... <clears throat> but now seems to like a good time to find out how the others are doing. Not a bad idea. They might need an extra set of hands or whatever. I'm too worried... Uh, wait, I'm not too worried about the food situation, but having... But knowing that we're at the point of double-checking, what we have is a little nerve-wracking. Thinking about it like making a shopping list. Uh, that's all they're doing. A bunch of lazy people not wanting to go to the store anyway. That's better. Still, hoping this, hoping it's one thing we don't need to worry about too much. If it's that bad, I'm sure we'll find out sooner rather than later. Fingers crossed, huh? I head back downstairs, making a beeline to where the others were. Oh, okay. As I entered the kitchen, the food... The others were already uh, thoroughly assessing what was available as far as food. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, but the attitude in the room seemed to show that things might not be so great with the food after all. <clears throat> Actually, 
Uh, I think I'm gonna end the part here. That that sounds about right, you know, scene transition and all. Uh, anyway, I'll see you around, guys. <laughs>